and welcome. My name is John Dickinson for Rhizom Lab. In this tutorial, we're going to practice what we learned in the previous two tutorials by unwrapping the entire forward controls model. So if you haven't watched the previous two tutorials, I recommend you go ahead and watch those first before completing this tutorial. Okay, so let's open the forward controls.fbx file. And we'll start with this object here. Hitting I to isolate, and we're in edge mode. So we'll just do some edge loop selections just by double clicking. Now, my key map is set to shift to add to the selection. Yours may be different. And I want to select this loop through here, but I don't want to select the entire loop. So coming over to the edge loop panel and activating stop. There we go. Excellent. Adding this one here. You may have a different way of selecting this, and by all means, just use the way you prefer. Double click and add that one too. And again, that one stops there because we have stop selected. That looks pretty good to me. So I have initial orientation set to vertical and hitting C to cut. And because this is the first object to be unfolded in this scene, it's going to be automatically packed when I press U to unfold. Perfect. Okay, Y to show all of the objects. And I want to point out a good way to work. You may have noticed these options here, both 3Ds and flats. This is 3D view, and in this view, I suggest using 3Ds. Watch what happens to this object that we've already unfolded. You can see how it gets hidden. This is a really nice systematic way to work because as you unfold each object, it will disappear or be hidden from this view. Over here in UV view, you can see the unfolded object and also the 3Ds. So in this view, we choose flats, and that will hide the 3D objects. I was only taught this way of working just recently, and it's really improved my workflow in Ryzen UV. Okay, next let's choose this object here. And this is super simple, I'm just going to hide the seam at the bottom. Cut. Unwrap and pack. Let's keep working through these. Let's choose this object next. For this one, we're going to use polygon mode. So the shortcut for that is F3. Now, for me, coplanar is active. I'm going to deactivate that and activate curved. And just make sure that use geonormals is checked so you can see the purple lines. Let's isolate this object. Click and click. If you're not getting clean selections like me, just adjust your max local angle. Cut edge mode. And we'll just add a couple of extra loops just to cut this long one up. And that should do it. Cut, unwrap, and pack. Okay, next let's do the long arm. I'd isolate. And for this, once again, we'll use the magic wand, but this time we'll use coplanar. So F3 for polygon mode. Deactivate curved, activate coplanar. And click, just going to hit E to go into full screen 3D view. And just make sure that it's selecting what we expect. C. Come around to the other side. Okay. And this little part here, that looks like it is correctly selected. Okay. And let's just add this part here. I'm just going to hold down Shift just to add to that selection. And just here. Okay, that looks clean. See the cut. F2 for edge mode. And we have stop activated, so just going to add a loop here. 
just putting my seams at the top here just to hide them. And we probably just want to break up this big long extrusion. So just put one there. And I'm just going to break this up into a few parts. Maybe stick one at the top there. And that one's quite long, so maybe just put one here. C. And let's unwrap that. And pack. Yep, that all looks pretty good. Let's do one of the knurling parts. So we'll do this big long one here. Still in edge mode. This time we'll just deactivate stop and activate geometric. And if you've watched the previous tutorial on seam selection, you'll remember that that will allow us to select a loop through poles, which this has many of. Double click. And that's all we need to do for that. I quickly isolate it. Cut. And because it's a fairly heavy piece of geometry, it takes a few seconds to unfold. And you can see Rising UV crunching through it down here on the left. Peter Pack. Next, we'll do this little hexagonal bolt. So, once again in edge mode. Now I'm just going to select this edge here, hold down shift and control just to select the shortest path and click. Remember if you're not getting the same result, just check your mouse shortcuts. I'm just going to undo that. Now the reason we're getting these weird loop selections is because I have geometric still active. So be careful of that. I'm just going to deactivate that and just reselect. Okay, that's much better. So once again, shift and control. And just work my way around here. This is going to fan this part out when it's unfolded. Now I'm going to leave this one deselected on purpose because I want to demonstrate something to you. I'll just activate stop and just select that loop there. C, U, and P. And there's that section we didn't cut. I'm going to use that as an example to just demonstrate this option here, Update Unwrap. It's disabled by default. I'm going to choose Unfold. Move my cursor over this edge here and hit C. And that will cut and automatically unfold. So I can work my way down here and cut. So that saves you having to press U to unfold. If you go too far, you can just do the same with W, and that's going to weld that and adjust the unfold. So you may prefer to have that on by default. I actually prefer to have this disabled. And notice also we have this curved extrusion, and this isn't ideal for packing. We're going to be looking at packing in detail in the next tutorial, but I just want to point out a couple of features. There are a few ways to straighten islands in Rhizome UV, and one way is to use constraints. So if we double click this edge here, to select it and come up and choose vertical constraint. You can see how that changed the color of it. Let's do the same for this one. Vertical. That's a light green now. For things that we want to be horizontal, like this edge here, and we can do the other one at the same time. So shift double click. We can click horizontal constraint and that will turn blue. And now if we hit O to optimize, you can see how that's straightened. Hit P to pack. 
and that's much more ideal for efficient packing. Okay, so pressing Y, and let's just keep working through. Maybe this one here, I, all of these are going to be pretty simple. And we'll put the cut down the bottom here. Now we could put another loop in there and split these two parts up, but I'm going to leave that as one part. C, U, and P. You can see that works perfectly fine as just one island. Y. Let's do this one next. Super simple. C, U, and P. Y. We'll leave this one for last. Let's come up the top. And let's do this one here. I'll just isolate that. Cut. Unfold. And pack. Y again. Okay, for this one we'll need geometric. So we'll just turn off stop, turn on geometric. Select the loop all the way through. And we'll just isolate this one. Cut. Unfold. Pack. Y again. Let's grab this one. These are really simple shapes. And this one will add another loop here. And we'll switch off geometric and switch stop back on. And just deselect that one holding down control or whatever your keyboard shortcut is set to. Make sure we isolate. If I don't isolate and I pack, that will pack everything that's visible over here in the flats area. And I want to keep all of these as they are. So we'll just make sure we isolate. And then cut. Unfold. And you see, because my cursor was over that particular island, it only unfolded that island. So I can just move my cursor over this one and press U again. And that does that one too. Pack. And just by way of review, let's make this one straight. So we'll double click this edge here and we'll use the align island vertically to selection button. And then we'll press shift P. And remember, that's this option here, pack translate. Excellent. And there's actually two more to go. There's the bolt and this one. So let's do the bolt first. Add a loop there, and here, one there, and let's see, the top here, similar to the way we did the previous bolt. I'm holding down my keyboard shortcut of shift and control to select shortest path. We just go back to this side here. And let's see. Got stop enabled, so we'll just double click and just deselect that one, just so the cap remains connected. Okay, let's see how this goes. Cut, unfold. 
and pack E just to make that full screen. And let's just do that again. So we'll double click and align that one. And why don't we add some constraints to this one? So selecting both vertical sides and using a vertical constraint and selecting both horizontal and using a horizontal constraint. And then with the cursor over the island, O to optimize and pack translate shift P. Very nice. Okay, E again. And let's just do the very last one, which is this one. And for this one, once again, we'll use polygon mode and we'll use curved. And just make sure that use geonormals is activated and also that the eyeball is on. Otherwise, you won't see those purple edges. All right. We can select both of these super cleanly. That's great. So C to cut. I think you are used to those keyboard shortcuts by now. And I'm going to click away just to deselect and just grab these ones. Once again, I'm using Shift, but you may have a different shortcut for that. C. Now, if we move our cursor over this part here, we may be able to select that entire piece. Yeah, that's pretty good, isn't it? So we'll press C to cut that. Quickly come back to edge mode, F2. And we'll just grab this one here and cut that. Okay. Work our way around. And we want this one here and this one here. And we want to isolate this. Let's go into island mode, F4. Middle mouse button, select the entire object. Isolate. Move the cursor and unfold and pack. All right, so there's just one we've missed down here. So this one will need to be in edge mode, F2. And we'll just cut this one and unfold with the cursor over it. We can probably just select this edge here and align vertically. And maybe this edge here. and shift p okay so y once more and we can come back to both here so we can see all of the 3d objects and that's everything and we've only done basic packing here but we'll be looking in more detail at various packing features and workflow in the basics of packing tutorial but in the next tutorial we'll dive a little deeper into more tools and techniques for welding and optimizing and also some of the other features of the Unwrap panel we haven't yet looked at. For now, this is John Dickinson for Rhizome Lab. I'll see you in the next tutorial.